I want to know. Give me Welcome to Real Inside Sales Talk, Episode 7, with Mark and Jason. Jason, how are you tonight? I am wonderful, Mark. How are you, my friend? I'm pumped up again. I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to share some information. You know, it's I just can't keep my mouth shut. Well, Mark, how's your week been? I want to know. You know, uh, Monday, it was a little slow. Today, I crushed it. Crushed it. Was it. Awesome. Yeah, I crushed it. It was great. And we're doing this on a Tuesday out there for everybody. We're at the beginning of the week here, so I hope your week has started off amazingly well. Amazingly well, Mark. So you had a tough day yesterday. Today, it's starting to come together, right? Well, yeah, and you know, that's sales. It's to be expected. You're going to ride the roller coaster. You know, you could throw down 10 deals one day, no deals the next day. You yeah. know, it just depends on what you're selling. But sometimes you have to be able to plant the seed and let that seed just grow. Sometimes that seed isn't going to grow overnight or grow in a week or grow in six months. It might right. take a year it for that seed to develop depending on what you're you know, trying to grow. you got to feed it. And, you know, that's take why care I... Of it. That's why you call your nurtures, you call your follow people up. on your watch list, you follow up, you leave a voicemail on every phone call, every text message, what's going on? Exactly, folks. So what we want, and, and Mark, so you had a good weekend? Yeah, uh, I'm going to buy a $700 puppy, it's a golden oh, mule, yeah, posted yeah. a picture on my Facebook, yeah. Really? $700 puppy? $700 puppy, that makes yeah. the wife happy. Okay, so I paid $400 for my daughter's puppy. Is it a golden doodle? Yeah, it's a King Charles Cavalier, it's the pretty boy of dogs. You remember the movie Lady and the Tramp? Oh, who doesn't? Okay, so you remember Lady. This is what they base Lady on. This is the type of dog they base Lady on. Mine's cuter. No. Ah. No. <laughs> there is no way. I, the, we will put a poll. We, we will. I'm going to get... Golden gonna get, doodle. Yeah, I'm going to get gas because, it, dude, hands down, I have to tell you right now, Mark. I, I, and let me... Mark, just let me... It, because this is, this is such a great opportunity. I, I call him the Brad Pitt of dogs. We're doing the Yu-Gi-Oh of doggy battles through because our cell phones there, right now. there is no way that any dog can be cuter than Gatsby. That is a very cute dog. Is, is that not cute or what? So uh, if we were playing cards, I'd say you have a king. I've got an but ace, but I've got man. an ace up no. my sleeve. Oh, dude, Look at I, that! Oh, dude, dude, that's a cute dog. Yeah, dude, here, <laughs> no, here, 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 here you go. There's your, there's your ace, king of spades. Joker, all of it right there. That's the royal flush right there, man. Gatsby, he chases butterflies and can't catch He's them. black and white. He's got the pink tongue. He looks really cute. Yeah. But I would have mistaken that him for a girl dog. Look at this dog, though. I know. Now, that's this a good like, dog. Yeah. That's a huge dog. Like, And he's just all just hanging chill. out there, man. That's awesome. That's amazing. Well, okay. So, back to business here. Uh, we sell stuff here. We do. So, Mark, I want to tell you what I saw the other night. What did you say? I watched. I'm a fan of Better Call Saul. Oh, yeah. Well, I think I know what you're going to talk about. Well, if you anybody saw his episode, I think it was it's August 13th. I think the episode air date was, and episode two, and Saul does this incredibly amazing copier sales presentation. He's looking for a job, okay? And I'm not going to send any spoilers or anything like that for anybody out there if you if you haven't seen the episode yet. But when you see his sales pitch. You will not only copy that the next day in whatever sales pitch you're doing, but you will learn probably 25 different things from what Saul's doing. It's amazing, Mark. It's amazing. Ugh. You should have seen it. It's going to be it, it uh, next viral video. It, it will be. I was trying to find a clip of it so we could like play the audio of it, but so far, no dice with that. So we'll keep working on it, though. You know, speaking of Better Call Saul, I believe yeah. that uh, we uh, had read some books here over the last few days, did we not? We have, my friend, and, and I want to stress a book. Here's the thing is I want to stress a book for everybody to read. It, it doesn't matter if you've been in sales 20 years, and if you've been in sales 20 years and you haven't read it, go to our Facebook page or go to our website, realinsidesalesdoc.com, and Dale Carnegie, How to Win Friends, Friends and Influence People, that's How to Win Friends and Influence People, is the most significant sales book out there of all time because it encompasses so much and it's all about, I mean, bottom line, you know, I, I take from the mindset, I take from cultivating the relationships, valuing a relationship, you know, thinking long-term, but also, you know, seeing how you can benefit people, showing gratitude, having humility. It's a great book. Have you ever read it, Mark? No, I need to Mark, read it. Mark, you haven't read it, Mark. Oh. I've been reading a lot of good books too. You know, okay. I, everything that has to do with, uh, how to improve my techniques, how to approach a there subject differently, looking from 
things from another per- person's perspective. Yes. You know, changing my approach. And also, I've been, uh, you know, really looking into, you know, putting my thoughts and dreams out to the universe. Mm-hmm. I feel if I uh, put it right. out there, it's going to come back to me. Yeah. Well, Think and Grow Rich is another good one, Mark. That one's actually helped me quite a bit over the last few months. Actually, the last year when I discovered it, because Think and Grow Rich, you, you think about it, and here's, it's a topic I want to go into here in a little bit, is making productive use of your time. You know, are you yes. saying, I mean, that's the thing, Mark, you got to ask yourself almost every minute of the day, is this a productive use of my time? Yeah. And, and not to be cynical about it, because, you know, yeah, we spend time with your family and everything, and that's where you got to prioritize, but be productive with your time. Yeah, how serious are you about making money? Do you want to be the best or do you just want to be that person that skids by? You know, when I walk in every morning, I have 8 to 4.30, sometimes 7 to 4.30. Every minute is an opportunity that I can make money. If I'm not making money, I better have a damn good reason why. Exactly. Because I'm failing my kids. I'm failing right. my wife. I'm right. failing my goals. I'm failing my boss. I'm right. failing my business. And I'm not a failure. I'm no. successful. No, we are successful. And we are successful people who listen to the Real Inside Sales Talk podcast with Mark and Jason. This is episode seven. Find us at isa talk on facebook facebook.com slash isa talk and mark here's something really special i want to tell everybody out there about i want everybody who's a listener right now and tell your friends is to go to real inside sales talk.com slash sign up that's sign up real inside sales talk.com slash sign up s-i-g-n-u-p and sign up for our newsletter it's a weekly newsletter right now offers motivational tips tricks uh negotiation strategies sales strategies sales humor we we mark and i talk about everything on this newsletter it's something that we don't we were very focused on your success and the success of ourselves in general because of the fact that we want to convey to you those things that we learned that the struggle that we went through because if you're new out there there's going to be a lot of you know pitfalls out there and we can help you avoid those that's what we do with the newsletter yeah and i got sold the other day how'd you get sold Okay, so I was talking with this uh, martial arts salesman. He runs a gym. Okay. And uh, I go, you know, see that guy over there? He goes, yeah. He goes, he would totally kick my ass. Right. And he right. goes, I guarantee you three months with me, you'd be kicking his ass. Really? That's awesome. And I'm like. That's awesome. I, how do I not sign up? Well, no. How do you not? Did you sign up? I'm so tempted to. Are you? I'm scared because I'm going to get the crap beat out of me so many times, but I'm going to I'm going to look good. I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to feel great. You and I'm Katie be, should sign up. Dude. <laughs> there you go. Like the John Cena and Nikki Bella There's your marital arts. counseling. That's it. There's your therapy right there, dude, man. <laughs> hey, I recommend all couples do that out there. Take martial arts together. You know, slug it out. I'm saying that in jazz. But just kind of jump into... Uh, a topic here real quick that the Mark and I are going to kind of riff on is is relationships and knowing how to continue a relationship and knowing how to uh, end a relationship because regardless of whether you're you know it's a boyfriend girlfriend situation professional acquaintance son daughter wife husband you know boss employee you're always navigating these relationship barriers and sometimes you have to cut out the toxic people in your life. I was talking to a friend of mine about just negative people. Mark, have you been around like just negative? They're negative about everything. You know, if you listen to one of our previous podcasts, I talk about losing my best friend. I mean, someone who I'd literally go to jail for, someone who I would do right. anything for. Right. But the people that he hung out with and kind of his mentality just kind of... Shit it wasn't parade. productive. You, it, you it, it was a dead end. It right? was affecting yeah. me, and yeah. even though I looked forward to hanging out with him as right. much as possible, it was just a toxic environment. And right. then, you know, yeah, I went a few years without having any friends, but then I started making better friends who really enjoyed being around. And you know, and I, the, here's I mean, here's on the relationship front, man. I, I mean, I'll share a little something here. There was a relationship I was in for about five and a half, six years. Okay, thank you. So, but I realized that no matter how like the comfortable certain things seemed, I knew that in the long haul, it was a bad thing. The toxicity of this was the, you could tell from the person, the negativity, the insecurity, you know, that bleeds over. If you, if you're around people who are like that, that's like if you're managing a real estate team out there, a sales team, you don't want that negativity to start like permeating your sales team. You don't want that negativity to start getting infecting. So when you run into like the one person, because there's always one out of about five who people who are just 
It doesn't matter. They're so they're be, they're not curmudgeons where you know yeah they kind of gripe about having to deal with whoever, but they're good at their job. No, these are like toxic negative people. And you get them on your team from time to time. And as soon as you see them on your team from time to time, this is where you got to take that axe, man, and sever that relationship because it's not going to produ produce anything over the long haul. That's why re positive relationships are so important. Anyway, lot relationships over the long haul, you find out who your friends really are. Because there were, you know, certainly I had professional colleagues, but they're not necessarily, you know, friends per se. So it's one thing where you start getting people on your team. And yeah, after a month, two months, three months, you're going to start noticing behaviors and patterns. And that's where you should, as a good manager, pick up on the type of behaviors and patterns here. That's why it's so important to have a personality test when you have employees. That's why it's so important to be able to understand people's personality because you can know right in. Well, Mark, have you ever met somebody that just kind of makes you nervous? Absolutely. I talked to a fellow coworker today and he's like, hey, we're not friends on Facebook. And I looked at him and I was ballsy. I was like, are we even friends? Right. And he goes, well, right. you don't have to be friends to actually be friends on Facebook. Right. Right. And I was like, well, you know, at least he was ballsy enough to respond. So I'm going to accept his friend request. No, no, no. <laughs> you know, well, I, and, and, and actually in, in a way, you know, I could have taken that as a very negative comment, but yeah. I looked at it from a different point of view. You know, he took my shade, he threw it back at me, and it actually, I got a little bit more respect for the guy. Right. Well, that's just it. He's a cool dude. He really and, is. And that's where instincts, as being as part of being a good salesperson, your instincts are so important. Because if certain people give you certain emotional kind of knee-jerk reaction, yeah, you've got to be able to navigate the initial knee-jerk reaction, but then you've also got to be able to understand, okay, what's these people's real motive? What's their real motivation? Are they really telling me the truth? Do I, is my BS meter going off? Or do I implicitly trust these people just because of some of the things, like you said, that they don't do? There's certain things people, if they don't do, it's a good sign. Yeah, and you know, everyone's gonna uh, react to different uh, outcomes differently. And you, it's hard to learn that when you're younger, you really just have to experience it. And yeah. you know, if I could go back and tell myself, you know, something different, it is be patient. Yeah. You know, I was in too much of a hurry I was in too much of a hurry to get results done and I wouldn't be patient enough. And uh, now I'm learning to be more patient. And again, that's where it goes back to letting you plant the bombs, wait for them to explode, plant the seed, let for, you know, wait for it to grow. Well, that's, you talk about patience, Mark. Hey, can I tell you something? You got more patience than a hospital? Uh, yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was a good one, man. Real inside you, you, sales time. You know where I learned patience from? Because I'm a, if, you, if you talk to a lot of people who know me, they know I'm a very patient person. Well, golf teaches you patience. And that's why I must lose that like putt-putt and mini golf all well, the time. Well, we'll go play sometime. I'll show you. Relationships, Mark, they're important. Value those relationships. Value those relationships. Same with your clients. Everything. Value, value the time you're putting into them because if you're not going to value the time and focus on the energy you're putting into that time, you're just right. wasting your time because and everyone else's when time. when we talk about value with them, I mean, it's not a selfish thing to be able to want to be around successful people. Success breeds success. Yes. And and look, I no mean... No matter how scary it might seem. Right. I can't I tell you how hurt many... their feelings. Yeah. You know, or it, I can't tell you like when I got into real estate, I'm like, wow, that's the number one agent in town or wow, that's the number one person who's doing this right now. You know, and I was so intimidated and then I just learned that just like everyone else, and uh -huh. now that I've kind of grown mentally, I've, I've been through you know the shit and back. Yep. You know, I can really just reflect and tell you what's really going on. Mark, you you have done it all, man. And and let's take a minute to thank our sponsor of the show today, Team, yeah. Team Real Estate. I want to give you guys a shout out out there. The team over at Team Real Estate is, is one of your go-to sources if you're getting ready to th consider buying or selling a home right now. What you want to do is you want to have a trusted agent on your side to allow you to navigate those hurdles of, of inspections, of appraisals, of listing your home, of, of getting your home ready for the market, of, of really having an agent who's going to understand where you're coming from, understand what your motivation is to sell your home, why you want to sell your home, understand what kind of home you want to buy. Give them a call over there at, at Team Real Estate at 417-319-1000. That's Team Real Estate, teamre.com, 417-319-1000. Call David and his team over there today if you're ready to buy or sell your home. Thank you. Teamrespringfield.com, teamrespringfield.com for all of your buying and selling needs. Ask for Mark, ask for David. Rebecca will answer the phone every time, and I guarantee we'll get you taken care of. Thank you very much. And let's go on. Wow, Jason. <laughs> you know, 
<laughs> with episode seven going on tonight, you know, we've got a lot of ground that we've covered, but yep. I yeah, still feel like we haven't even made any progress. You know, I forgot my manners. Jason, how yes. are you doing tonight? I am doing wonderful tonight. I want to, and Mark, I'm glad you asked me how I'm doing tonight. Because I, I'm doing very well. I was I was thinking about success earlier, okay? And how do you measure and quantify success? Tell okay. me more about that. Well, the way uh, success, and this is for everybody out there, especially people who are first time getting started, or maybe you had that revelation where, you know, here's my passion in life and here's what I want to do. And I want to be able to take that next step and actually get it done and do something about it. You don't necessarily measure success each time by your pocketbook, your bank account, you know, whether you're driving a Rolls Royce or not. You measure it by those little increments that you do each day, going out and contacting people, going out and researching your product, going out and marketing your product, going out and talking to people about your product, going out and engaging people in your product. The first thing that I encourage everybody to do is get a calendar. Make a calendar and make a list of things that you want to do every day. You know what the best calendar is, Jason? What's the best calendar? A free one. You know a where you free, get a free one? Where you can get a free one? Gmail. You know where you can get a very, you know where you can get one you can take with you every day and you don't need, doesn't need to be powered. The one built into your wall that's on a nail that has a cute girl on it? Go, into, go down to Walmart or whatever your Dollar General, Walgreens, they find us at Real Inside Sales Talk with Mark and Jason on iTunes or Stitcher and Google Play. Download us there, like, review, share us, share us on Facebook. Mark, there's one thing I love talking about. Sales. Well, next to sales. Well, what I like talking about is 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 our audience, our clients, our subscribers out there. For $5 a month, I love every one of you guys. For $5 a month, you get a half an hour one-time coaching call with Mark and myself, and you get access to our secret Facebook group. Where we in there, we, we do a lot more live video in that secret uh, Facebook group. We do a lot more one-on-one -on -one sort of stuff in there. You're in there. You're going to interact with us. We're going to get you through those daily, the daily grind of sales. We're going to work there and get you through that. For $5 a month, you get a half an hour. Uh, you pay for a year. You get a half an hour one-time coaching call. $10 a month, you get a one-hour one-time coaching call. Not only do you get access to the secret Facebook group, our newsletter, all our special promotions, you get access to some bonus episodes that Mark and I do. You get access to some special coaching that Mark and I do for people just for our subscribers. We do some webinars that we've got coming up and plan for you to get through those objections, get through those daily hurdles. And you know what uh, special holiday is coming up, Jason? What special holiday? My birthday? We have you're not only your birthday. My but, birthday. But we have Labor Day. Labor Day. What do most businesses do on Labor Day? They close. What else do the good ones do? The good ones stay open. And what do they do? They make sales. And how do they make sales? They have customers come through the door. And how do they have customers come through the door? They market and lead generate. And? And? They run a promotion. promotion. They so run here's, a promotion? They're going to run a promotion. So okay. here's what we're going to do for you. Any subscribers that sign up between now and Labor Day. Now and Labor Day. Today is what day, Jason? Today is August the 14th, Tuesday. <laughs> Any subscribers that sign up between now and Labor Day, we are going to double their call time for free. You pay the standard fee. We will double the call time. We will give you extra information at yep. no additional cost. Which that means if you become a $5 a month subscriber, you get a one hour coaching call instead of a half an hour coaching call. If you become a $10 a month subscriber, you get a two hour coaching call, which we can separate over dates. And if you become a $25 a month subscriber, that means you get two calls a month every quarter. Mark, how can you beat that? Sign up at realinsidesalestalk.com. Find us at facebook.com slash ISA talk, facebook.com slash ISA talk, real inside sales talk.com between now and, and Labor, Labor Day, Day 2018. Yep. Sign up, bring a friend. We might even do something special for you we if you get them might. signed up too. We just might. So stay tuned out there, folks. I don't like to hear this week's slow. Production's slow because of school, because of this or that, the economy, the weather. I just really hate hearing that. You know why? Why? Tell me. Because really, if you were good enough at your job, you'd get the done. I mean, you get the deal done. Right. If you were good enough at your job, you'd get the deal done. What really surprises me is how many people are not willing to follow up. Right. And you know, what really surprises me as well is how many customers are surprised that you follow up. Exactly. Exactly. The, the customers that are not cool with you following up, 
Stop following up Stop, with them. Yeah. You're wasting your time. Because they don't want to hear from you in the first place or you're doing it too often. Because or even every six months. Like, for example, I could call you every six months, which I've done for the last three years. Right. And you're like, call me back in six months. Call me back well, six when months. people say this week is slow, I'm like, okay, well, how's your Facebook page? How's your Twitter page? How's your social media presence? Those little things that you don't necessarily get the chance to do and you always say, man, I wish I could do this more. I wish I could update the Facebook page more. I wish I could Twitter more. Boom. You're on There's your, your opportunity. You're on your phone on the toilet. You may as well do exactly. it right then and there. That's a great point because you have the accessibility to be able to do it immediately right then. Plus, they've got tools out now. You can schedule that stuff in advance. So, yeah, while you're sitting there in line at the grocery store or sitting there going through the car wash or sitting there getting your nails done or sitting there in the barber shop, post some stuff on Twitter. Schedule some stuff on Facebook. Schedule some stuff on Twitter. Update that LinkedIn profile. You'd be amazed nowadays. LinkedIn's LinkedIn is huge. Kind of stealthily it's coming along. Like the yeah. more professional, yeah, the more professional, non-Facebook political stuff. You know, more realistic transactions between business people. LinkedIn is huge. You know, I've been adding almost 165 people a week to my LinkedIn really? profile. That's a lot. Seriously, LinkedIn is LinkedIn, the new, LinkedIn's coming it's, up. It's yeah, the new thing. Yeah. Well, and that's and that's where you want to be able to when the week is slow like that. You've got to find activities to to be able to that you can lead generate for. Then that means go out and meet people, go out and talk to people. I mean, when was the last time you know you chatted up somebody you know at a Panera Bread or you chatted up somebody at Neiman Marcus? You know what? Yesterday I was at Mimi's Hong Kong Inn eating some cashew chicken. I was so on, jealous when I saw them on Facebook. Yeah, um, I was like, man, we've got to have, we've got to go to Mimi's. We've got to have some Chinese food. Four dollars and seventy-five cents get you so much food; it's ridiculous. We've got to go and do that. So everybody Mimi's, out there, go to Mimi's if you're in Springfield, Missouri. Go to yeah, Mimi's. Mimi's Hong Kong Inn on South Battlefield. You won't be disappointed. Anyway, it's kind of like a family Tell tradition. Him, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I ran into a guy there. His name is Nate. But anyway, I ran into this guy at Mimi's Hong Kong Inn, and I looked at him. I'm thinking, man, this guy looks familiar. Right. Well, I worked with this guy at Expedia for like a couple of years. Okay. Like, hung out with him. And really? And like, I forgot who he was because we haven't talked in six years. No way. So I'm like, aren't you? Do I know you? He's like, yeah, your fiance's name's Katie. And I'm like, that's right. And, you know, I'm like, what are you doing now? Well, I'm selling real estate. Oh, I'm looking for a house. Really? Yeah. Connected instantly? So I'm like, dude, I don't know why we're not friends on Facebook anymore. I apologize, but uh, right. I'm re-adding you right now. What can I do for you? And next thing I know, <laughs> well, I'm going over his buying needs. We're talking about his job, his family. We're, like, setting up a barbecue. And it's right. like, wow. Oh, wow, you connected. It was kind of, like, meant to be. So my family tradition of going and getting Chinese food whenever my son goes to work with me, it's right. like... Wow, this was kind of meant to be. That might meant to be. And that's the value of relationships. Because we were talking about relationships earlier. Take them seriously. I mean, you may not, you're not, you're not going to be best friends with everybody. It's I mean, hard. there's too many people. Yeah. And, and some people, I mean, some people are. I want to be best friends with you, but I can't. Well, yeah. And know what you're in tune with. Some people are in tune with having a large social circle. Some people like having a smaller social circle. Some people are kind of introverted and. Some people don't want to be on social media at all. They want to live off the grid. And off the grid. And that's why you don't have to be an extrovert for sales. No matter what you're selling, whether it's cars, homes, appliances. If Diamonds. You're, if you're doing online marketing, online sales. What, you, what you, the ability to do is to be able to connect, demonstrate value. Let the customer know that, okay, this product that you're offering that they're interested in provides them the best value that they're looking for is provided at the best monetary option that they're looking for. It fulfills the need that they have at that time being. It doesn't matter. I mean, even if you're selling, you know, the fidget spinners when they came along. I mean, that's just the thing is you go out there, you find the opportunity, you execute it, and that's where relationships come down the line and help. And, and let's just go into our kind of our last segment here. Uh, Mark, to, I want to finish on, you, you talked about how your Monday was kind of a blah. Kind of a blah. The start of every week. It's kind of a blah. Yeah. Okay. And I was very motivated going in, too. Now, now Mark, some people can have a blah Monday and it can just devastate their entire week. So what I, I, want, to, what I, get, what I want to get into here are kind of some <clears throat> professional hang-ups um, that we might have. And to focus, be able to fo maintain our focusing on that mindset, the positive mindset. Yeah, I'm really happy you asked about this. So what really uh, ended my, I mean, it didn't really end on a negative, but it just didn't end where I wanted to be. For example, you know, I wanted to set some appointments up to get some houses listed and they all ended in callbacks. And everyone hates the, oh, call me back or email me this, right? Well, you know, I ended up calling them back today 
Okay. I got that deal nailed down. Good deal. So I just, you know, even though success didn't come immediately on Monday, success came on Tuesday by, you know, four deals going down. Right. Exactly. She wanted to maintain a focused mindset regardless of what what happened with it. Yeah. Sometimes you have to be okay with a callback. Sometimes right. you have to be okay with, okay, this might take two, three, four, five, seven phone calls to get through. Right. But you want to make sure whenever you're calling them that you're setting expectations that this is what you want to do. I'm not exactly. just calling you to shoot the breeze. Right. You're, you're serious about what you're trying to offer there. You want to connect. You want to be able to set that appointment. You know, I mean, that's just the thing is, is the point is, is to eliminate those distractions and not only mental distractions, but, you know, distractions of the people in the other cubicle and that kind of thing. I mean, sometimes usually you get used to the routine, the you know, kind of the hum of the office of people making calls and stuff. And you can put it in the background. But some days that might just like just uh, get on your last nerve. Absolutely. Like, you know, I lost one deal, but it's okay. I'm going to get over it because what really got, to, you know, boiled my skin and I got over it because I know that's just part of the job is, you know, I called the guy four times. I spoke with him four times. I emailed him three times. I texted with him six times and still chose. <laughs> still to, chose yeah. He still chose to meet with someone else other than me and list his house. Right. So my final response is, okay, you know, I'm happy you found the agent that you wanted to work with. Tell me what could I have done better to get in front of you? Well, and that's it then evaluating yourself. Yeah. Right. So like, even though I know you chose not to work with me, help me help make myself better to help other people. Right. And then and it sounds like also at the same time, you were more focused on kind of the results so much as you were more focused on the activities, not so much the results. Because, you know, that's the thing we can get lost in. It's like, oh, I've got to have, you know, 12 deals done this week and it's Wednesday. You can get desperate. You That's start, right. You don't want to get desperate. You, you jump to conclusions and then you screw up or you text somebody or you call somebody too much and you look too desperate. So you got to know where to draw the line. You right. Know, one, 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 uh, e one phone call, one email today, one text tomorrow, one email, one phone call the next day, one text the following day, one phone call, one email the next day. And, and not only that, but focus Just, on uh, focus on making that next, even that next call. You might get discouraged, but make that next call and the next call and oh, the yeah. next call and, and, and the next call. And be okay with, you know, pausing your dialer or taking right. a mental break. Like, for example, I was calling some people today and, you know, I did the same pitch five times and then I realized, man... I'm getting tired of talking to these people. I know what I'm doing and I'm confident in myself, but right. I just I just got to take a second here. Yeah. Not that I'm kind being lazy. And, yeah, yeah, I'm not being lazy. I'm, I'm not losing focus. I'm still positively motivated, but I just got to take a second here, get my stuff together. Stand up, stretch, stretch you know, you know, walk around, arms, yeah. look into another topic that takes my brain off of this. Right. You know, look into another funnel of business and then right. come back to it. Right. Well, and that's where I would like juggle. Jug I just juggle for a couple of minutes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> you juggle. You know, for, for you, he's he's really talking yeah, about juggling. For I, me, I'm, well, so. that's the thing when you need to take a little short, quick break to just kind of reset your mind. Talk about something else. Do something like that. Do something. Else. Learn to juggle. Call an inspector. <laughs> there you go. Try to get a hold of them. <laughs> well, you can just do something different. You know, right. you, you can pull the old Bart Simpson and pull the phone book out and call mm -hmm. out the guy with the funniest name, like uh, you know, whoever. Call the kids for a minute. And just, you know, say hey to them. That can get you back motivated because because what you want to do is especially, especially when things are going like kind of crappy and you get maybe some hostile people, you know, on the phone, like a series of five or six people that are just like complete jerks. <laughs> uh -huh. you, you, then you've got to take a step back for a minute and, and just be grateful for something and show your appreciation for something else. So be, be grateful, show some appreciation out there oh, when yeah. you're down. You show some appreciation because that's the best way to get you out of a funky negative mindset. Because, I mean, have you ever, you know, like driven down the street and you see the guy panhandling and you're like, man, I'm glad that's not me. You know, I mean, that's where that appreciation will get you. That's where that motivation will get you to go. And be aware of another thing I want to interject here, Mark. Be aware of too much routine. We do concentrate and focus on goals, scheduling, calendar, time management, time blocking, scheduling, but be careful of too much routine. Yeah, standard operating procedures are fantastic and everybody needs to have a standard operating procedure, but if the repetition is not building succession, you need to look at alternative right. viewpoints and getting stuff done. Exactly. You know, like today, I did my job in reverse and I had a higher contact rate this week than I did last week. And though that is a did you really? Yeah, I mean, you know, for me, honestly, it's a normal thing because I'm used to doing that because right. I've been in sales for so long, so I'm okay sure. with flip flopping things. Sure, but you know, it's okay to take a chance. Oh, it is. You know, it's and, it's and always it's, okay to take a chance. Yeah, and just remember, after you've done it the first twenty times that day, it doesn't matter if you do it two hundred or six hundred more times. You're ready to rock and roll. 
That you are. And that's where, again, you've got to understand where the landmines happen and you know, the boredom might set in or the repetition might set in or maybe your success isn't it happening as fast as you want. Be patient. You, you've got to be patient. Let's see, I'm just going to recap here a few things uh, that we've talked about on this episode is, is value those relationships out there. Eliminate the toxic ones. Eliminate the ones that are, are truly pulling you down or pulling you into an area you just do not want to go. The other thing I want to recap on that we talked about here is being able to keep that mindset focused on what you need to do each day to be successful. The long-term goals complement the short-term goals. Remember the short-term goals help you execute those long-term goals. And finally, finally, eliminate those distractions out there. You know, eliminate the negativity. Watch out for, again, things becoming like useless meetings. In Get rid of Facebook. Yes. Do not go on Facebook. And now that's the thing why I recommend you use Facebook when you're standing in line at the grocery store because your time your your time limited there. You know, use it where you're waiting in you know, waiting in line at whatever, waiting in a restaurant for an order to come through or something like that at a coffee shop. Do it where you have a time constraint so that way you know you're going to stop it for a time being and then have a specific plan of what you're going to do when you're going to get on there. If I'm going to get on there, it's okay. I'm getting on there to post these three things or respond to this or like and share that or interact with my audience. That's what I'm going to do. Have a purpose behind it. The personal Facebook, leave that when you're on vacation. So, Mark, let's tell people about our special between now and Labor Day. So, between now and Labor Day. Labor Day. For the same price of what, Jason? Uh, $5 a month. You're going to get what? $10 a month. And then what? And you're going to get an hour of coaching instead of what, a half an hour. Of Go to realinsidesalestalk.com. Sign up between now and Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day. We're going to give you double the amount of coaching time for the same price of just one coaching session if exactly. you sign up between now and Labor Day. So that means for $5 a month, you get an hour of coaching time. For $10 a month, you get two hours of coaching time. We can spread that up over a couple of different dates. For $25 a month, you're going to get two coaching sessions, two one-hour coaching sessions per quarter. That's a lot of coaching folks. There's a lot of value out there between now and Labor Day. Subscribe to Real Inside Sales Talk. Yep. Find us on Facebook.com at isatalk.com. Look for us on our podcast on Apple, Google Play. Look for our yep. YouTube videos. iTunes. Jason, is there anywhere else that they can find they us? They can find us at realinsidesalestalk.com. You can also subscribe to our newsletter at realinsidesalestalk.com slash sign up. That's realinsidesalestalk.com slash sign up. Sign up for our newsletter there. Each week we offer motivational tips. We offer sales suggestions. We offer some little bit of sales humor in there as well. And we want to thank our sponsors, David Johnson over at Team Real Estate. Team Real Estate. Yeah, Team RE Springfield.com. That's Team Romeo Echo Springfield.com. Find us there. We have a if we don't sell it, we buy it guarantee. Call us for yes. more information. Rebecca Great. will be picking up the phone. Rebecca and call ask for David over there. Team Real Estate, the great group of people over there. Find us at Facebook.com slash ISA Talk. Thank you for listening to Mark and Jason, Real Inside Sales Talk, Episode 7. And look for Episode 8, and you all have a good night. Thank you, folks, for listening.